Hi, welcome to Langkawi. This is uh, Langkawi Yacht Club, and uh, we're going to have a look on board the Kong Halverson 28 metre motor yacht Thea. Uh, she's a 1979 launch. So, as we look at the boat, she's a gentleman's yacht. Uh, we see you, there's no appearance that this is a timber hull uh, with uh, fiberglass strakes up the side. Looks very much like a, a Grand Banks or trawler style yacht that you might be familiar with. She has the Nyad fin stabilizers and she's a pocket super yacht that's ready for somebody to uh, enjoy for her next adventure. Uh, we're up on the upper deck. This is the Portuguese bridge. This is a very wide bridge here. There is actually a helm station forward where we've got a tiller control, bow and stern thruster, controlling the two anchors, the uh, Ray Marine chart plotter and the throttles. So this is a, quite a pleasant spot from which to drive the boat on occasions. There's a ladder here which is removable up to the top where we can access the navigation gear and the radar arch. But you can see from this space here, it's really, really good size. So easy to move around. As we come down here on the starboard side, we have two side doors to access the wheelhouse. It's a fairly simple bridge setup. Um, good electronics, but not over the top. What's interesting is that these helm chairs can swivel around and actually go forward and aft. So it's possible to sit around this table and eat at this table. We also have the dumb waiter, which comes up from the galley down below, and that access is here. So it's possible to send the food up and serve it straight onto the table if that's uh, what you'd like. But having a sofa in the wheelhouse is nice and comfortable. Uh, it's a very good height. There's plenty of space here. As we walk aft, uh, you'll come to what is described as a captain's cabin, but we prefer to call this an on-deck master or a guest cabin so we have a low slung double bed which is offset to port um, nice views aft high silk headboard is a good touch with the glass through to the head and shower and if you want to walk into here all the bathrooms on board are really nicely appointed um, all the heads are new all the piping is new nice shower here good height and a beautiful window. So there's a table and drawers sat to starboard and then these sliding doors aft out to the upper deck. So as an extension of a guest cabin surely this has to be um, one of the nicest places on the boat. The sun protection and the, the bimini it's all new it's a rigid structure it has the fold down um, canopy sides so it can be protected from the weather and you can walk all the way back these two davit cranes port and starboard are original lots of lifting capacity on this boat the tender is stored aft so lifted up by the cranes and stored aft it sits on these three convertible seats so they're actually a stainless and teak, varnished teak slat seats, which you can sit three people facing forward or three people facing aft. So even when the tender is off, you've got more deck space to use at the back of the boat. We have the steps down to the cockpit for easy access and a sliding weather hatch that covers that in any inclement weather. So although not the largest cabin on the boat, I think I find this one of the most comfortable and the addition of having this private shaded deck aft uh, is a real bonus for any guest on board. So from the foredeck we'll go back into the crew area and the galley which takes up the forward part of the boat. So as we walk down the starboard side here and as we walk in this uh, side door it's possible to close off the galley and the salon, which would make this all crew area forward. Electrical panels uh, situated here. So all the boat was rewired during the rebuild and it's all been nicely done. We have a dryer, we have a washing machine. So we've got a very large freezer. 
and the ice maker is situated there. Marble tops, double sink, we have a large dishwasher, so we've got a four burner gas range, a gas oven, also with an electric grill, and this very, very nice servery which can close off. Close off for privacy and then open up to serve into the dining room. But I mean, any, any chef's going to be happy in this galley. Uh, this is a very nice area. You're not stuck away. You can see what's going on. Plenty of light, plenty of fresh air. Fridge and freezer. So that's inbuilt into here, working nicely. So that coupled, coupled with the additional freezers gives you plenty, plenty of refrigeration space there. Um, so forward and central from this area, we have uh, the crew space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven steps down. So a large V-berth cabin here forward with a double bed. We have the opening hatches. We have the skylights up to the deck, onto the foredeck. So this ideally would be the captain cabin. Drawers and flat screen TV. These two cabins share a head. So in this port cabin, we have lateral bunks. So there's two single bunks in here, plus TV, plus the aircon. Head height's very good. You've got the opening hatch for light and air. And these two cabins will share the head that we find to starboard. This is a wet shower head, also with a new vacuum flush toilet and the mosaic. So very nicely finished with the opening hatch, of course, for fresh air. Now the secret compartment is under the floor. Two shelves that come all the way back, quite a long way. That gives you an awful lot of storage all the way up to the side of the boat. Lots of spare parts, everything organized, everything in their boxes. So this is a great little area because uh, it's for the crew, um, but it could be used for any amount of storage that you want without imposing on any of the storage in the uh, guest cabins. This is the main salon. We're coming in through the double doors from the aft deck. And as soon as you come in, um, you feel at home, basically. This is a very comfortable boat. So to starboard, if we start aft, we have a small writing desk, inch pop-up TV is nicely hidden away. And then it's a symmetrical salon, plenty of space, uh, really nice area. The windows can slide open for fresh air, plus the teak grates on here, teak louvers are removable. So right now we have the louvers on just to keep the boat cool. But if you're in different weather conditions, you might like to remove that and it would make the boat uh, very, very bright. Beautiful teak floor, all nicely finished, solid floors. We walk through this elliptical bulkhead and then you have a separate dining area, uh, which is a quite unique for a boat of this size, I might say. So a two, four, six, eight person table. Um, all the crockery and cutlery are stored in the drawers. We have marble tops to these servery servery counters. Overhead, nice sort of teak panelling with these small LED lights, little feature lights, sort of light up this area very well. Um, what's very nice is the side opening doors on both sides, so cross ventilation um, is excellent. And then also, obviously the servery hatch that we saw before going to the galley, so particularly easy for a crew member to to serve food. A day head, which most people would walk past, but there is a very nice day head in here, so you don't have to use the uh, heads in the guest cabins. So there's our day head, and then we'll walk down the forward companionway, starboard side, to take us to the two forward guest cabins. So we have a three quarter berth, um, on the starboard side, plus a long sofa, which could be an occasional berth, uh, maybe for children, families, um, quite neat. Um, we have a writing desk, plus 
the ensuite forward finished to the same standards as the others with nice tiling, marble floors, new vacuum heads. As we come out and we go to the port side cabin. So we have a, another cabin, another slightly different style. So this is a thwart ships with a beautiful headboard done in Thai silk. You have drawers either side of the bed, writing table, TV, and a lovely view out. So I believe this one can actually slide. If you don't want the louvers, you can open that up and we can open the hatch for, for fresh air. So we've seen two cabins here. Forward to the ensuite, again with um, nice marble and glass finishing, the nice hardware, new vacuum head, full height standing shower, only two of these two cabins share the same access. The upper deck cabin clearly has its own access, has two accesses, one from the cockpit and one from the helm. Um, and the master cabin after the salon, we'll see shortly. And that also has its own access. Uh, the entrance is a private entrance way, which is uh, aft port of the salon. As we walk into the master cabin, have a good look around. So this is the, the lowest head height in the boat, uh, being aft. Behind this curtain is actually the original transom, but this boat has been extended. So the curtain's there to, to look nice, which it does well. Hatches either side, large king size bed with the TV that pops up from the, uh, the foot of the bed. A small library and a leather topped desk with chair. As we walk over to the starboard side, drawers for clothing, some hanging locker space, and a large ensuite head and shower. As we come in, we can see we've got a really big shower with the mosaic, comfortable bathroom. This is a frosted glass piece to the foyer, which just gives a little bit of natural light. So uh, thanks for taking a look at the boat with me and I hope you liked Thea.